Let's calculate how much heat you'd lose through an insulated roof on a house. So let's assume we have a house. with a total roof area of about 100 square meters. And we're going to put a layer of insulation over the top and we'll assume that's 10 centimeters thick. And the temperature inside the house is 20 degrees centigrade and outside is 0 degrees centigrade. So what we want to work out is how much heat is going to escape through the roof. Now we'll make, need to make a few assumptions. The first assumption we're going to make is that everything is in steady state. When you first turn on the heat inside, here's a, a zoom in on the wall, and the temperature will be high on the inside and low on the outside. To begin with, the inside of the insulation will all be cool, and then, just like we saw in the last video, the temperature will start evening out. But here we're going to assume the temperature is coming to equilibrium, so it 20 C inside, 0 C outside, and a straight uniform gradient from one to the other. And in practice that will happen pretty fast. We're also going to ignore edge effects. So for example, in most of the middle, the heat will be going straight up through, but towards the edge it might come out sideways. But that's only going to affect a few centimetres around the edge, so we can probably ignore it. OK, so what's our equation? We're going to use the one-dimensional form of the heat transfer equation, which is that the heat flow per unit area is K A delta T over X. If you remember, the actual equation is the heat flow vector equals minus K grad T. Grad T is a temperature gradient, which is change in temperature from inside to outside divided by the thickness x. So in this case delta t is 20 and x is going to be 0.1. k is a conductivity. This is heat flow per unit area whereas that's total heat flow so we need to put the area over here. I've forgotten about the minus sign. Minus sign just tells us that heat goes from hot to cold. So as long as we remember heat's going from inside the house to outside we don't need to worry about the minus sign. OK, now what's the conductivity? Roof insulation is, things like pink bats, are mostly air. The insulation is a, a fine mesh of fibres to stop the air from flowing and conducting. So it has a conductivity, uh, so K for roof insulation is about the same as conductivity of air, which is about 0 0.025 watts per metre. Kelvin. What's the area? We'll say 100 square meters. Delta T is going to be the difference between the inside and outside. So it's going to be a temperature, so about 20, and X is 10 centimeters, which is 0 0.1 meters. So the heat flow is going to be 0 0.025 times 100 times 20 over 0.1, which comes out as 500 watts. So even with insulating, you're losing 500 watts out the roof of your house, half a kilowatt. So over a whole night, how much are you going to lose? Let's say we have 10 hours, 3,600 seconds in an hour, we can multiply that by 500 and it comes out as about 18 megajoules of energy. Now that sounds like quite a lot, but gas in Canberra costs about 2.5 cents for megajoules, so it's actually only 45 cents worth of energy to fight this off for a whole night. So that's why roof insulation is quite effective. If you didn't have roof insulation, the heat loss would be much, much, much worse and much more expensive.